morning. It's May 2nd. We're already in May. Wow, holy smokes. We're out in like a 50 acre field here, wrapping up the corn here this afternoon probably. All the corn grounds worked yesterday. I barely made it around the field one time because he's chasing me. I don't know if you can see. We're over half full. And once it gets to this point, it's kind of hard to shoot them in sometimes. And I don't like carrying around all that weight to pack the ground. And I'm not even around one time. There's the field entrance. I'm around like half of a time. And I'm only going for like the big ones. Like some areas I just have to leave them because he's chasing me. And no, I'm not losing it. He is actually chasing me with a planter on the headlands here. We got here at the same time. But he'll be running out of nitrogen here within 15, 20 acres probably. It'll give me a little bit of a chance to get ahead of him. So I did not video at all yesterday. Um, I worked the night before and I came straight out here and started digging at 7 a.m. And my wife got out here around noon and she rode with me till whenever I called it a night. I think I finished digging around six. And by the time I gave a few people a ride to the different equipment for the night, uh, it was seven o'clock. I went home and I was sleeping by 7.30. So I was a little tired yesterday. That's why I didn't film, but just uh, worked ground all day. We had our reel going just a little faster uh, to kick them further in. But the problem with that is that when you like go and you let off, it just slams to the stop. So it's a little easier on equipment to go with the slower speed. Um, and they'll pile on there at the end. They kind of climb over each other, but like I say, I don't like to really heap it unless I absolutely have to if I can't find a rock pile, but there's plenty of opportunities for rock piles in this field, so I'll be dumping this soon. So you can probably kind of see it. There's a little dip right here. And uh, so the water likes to run through here from the field on the other side of this trees. And it's washing out this root ball, this tree. So the water comes screaming through here. So it's a good spot to help slow the water down with some rocks so it doesn't wash out our field. Kind of looked like cold corn star wearing my headphones in the tractor, but uh, not poking fun. It is a good thing to wear headphones to protect your hearing because uh, you don't want to get older and regret it and wish you did, but. Uh, I wear it for a couple reasons. Sometimes I like to have the windows open to enjoy the fresh air. It gets a little loud in here. Um, but two, it helps me hear my phone and I'm on a couple on call for a couple things for work. So I want to be able to hear those calls if I do get a call. So uh, it just helps with that. And I can pick my music then because uh, in a John Deere 4630, for some reason they didn't put uh, Bluetooth in the tractor when they made it back in, I don't know, the late 70s? I don't remember when these were made. 76, I think this one is, 77? I don't remember. I'm really not sure why this one didn't come with Bluetooth. And don't think I'm some entitled millennial because I'm whining about music. Because I'm really not. It's just, uh, this one does have a radio. It's just listening to the radio. Um, I have a thing against TV ads and radio ads are okay, but there's just so many of them. and. Uh, when you listen to the radio all night at work and then all day in the tractor too, like you hear the same songs five, six, seven, eight, nine times and you're like, all right, that's enough for that. So it's nice to have like Spotify or Pandora so I can listen to all sorts of different music and not hear the same song in the day or podcast, but I'm already off, out of Off the Husk podcast. So if anyone has any other good farm ones besides that and field work, I'm kind of new to the podcast world. Um, but I really enjoyed Off the Husk and uh, the field work ones. So if you have any good ones, let me know. Always a good thing to look the planter over as he goes by to make sure no closing wheels are dragging. And then every now and then I'll get out and run behind it to make sure the 32%'s getting side dressed correctly, not plugged Forgot up. Forgot to say too that um, yesterday as I was digging this field had turnips and that wheat in it. 
uh, by the grace of God, through that, right as I set into this field, um, I saw some antlers. And I've been looking for antlers in the like the edge of the tree or the trees there for years. And um, there it was, laying right in the. Uh, come on, there we go. There it was, laying right in the field. So real good tire popper, but I grabbed it and it was like five or six points, and it seems really big. So uh, I'm thinking it was a pretty good sized deer that was roaming around. There is a. Uh, and of course, I'm sure every neighborhood, oh, it's a monster roaming around, but the guys do say there's a pretty good one, and I've seen it a couple times when we've been combining. And, uh, woo, that rock took off. I don't know if that came through on the camera. And, um, so that was really cool to find that. I also found a 25-foot log chain. Score! It's a lazy way to pick this area, but honestly, this would take me about an hour. It's so many rocks, and a little bit of dirt comes in there, but not bad. Actually, this is the way some areas pick rocks. They rake them into a row, and then they come along with these things and scoop them up like that. That one, that area wasn't bad, but this whole hill was like 50% rocks that you could see. And I just filled that basket from this little area right here in two to three minutes. So I know it's a little bit of lazy way, and it looks like there's more dirt on top than there really is. Uh, that was pretty slick. So many rocks. It's unbelievable. Still remnants of the tornado from a uh, year and a half ago. Sheet metal just wrapped around this tree that's blown over. Got back with the rock picker. And they're just finishing up corn, so I threw some bean totes on here. Well, we're back uh, working ground here, this time ripped corn ground, and this is where this mulch finisher really shines, in my opinion. Just doing a beautiful job. Windows are a little dirty from splashing through a few field entrances, but one pass, and it's just powder chewed up nicely. A lot of times when we had our just regular field elevator, we'd have to work our plow or rip ground twice to level it off nice, but one pass tool probably how I'm gonna finish up my night. If I can, I'm gonna to try to get over here with the rock picker so that we can roll it, but I might lose the sun. This is probably how I'm gonna end my night. It's a little rougher, I go a little slower just to be easy on things. Probably how I'll end my night. Probably gonna lose the sun before I can get over here with the rock picker, but I'll try to get over here if I can. If I can, I'll roll it tonight as well. Um, and I think they're finishing corn right now. Next day, rock picking. They hide a little more when it's in the corn residue, but we're getting them. Already got a basket pretty well filled up. 